lab. In most plants, flowers contain both female and male parts. These flowers are classified as perfect flowers. Examples of perfect flowers include lilies, roses, dandelions, orchids, and many more. However, some plants have evolved to produce flowers with only male parts or only female parts. These flowers are classified as imperfect flowers. Really, Shafin? What are the examples of imperfect flowers? Imperfect flowers include cucumbers, gourds, and melons. Chipsters, can you see the difference between the male and the female cucumber flowers? Let me tell you a fun fact. Only female flowers can produce fruits. The bees seem so busy jumping between flowers to get their food. <laughs> the bees are attracted to the colorful petals and the nice smell of the flowers. For flowers to reproduce, pollen must be transferred from the male part to the female part. This process is called pollination. Insects and animals that play an important role in pollination are called the pollinators. Oh, I see. Then bees must be pollinators, right? Hey, little bee, how are you doing? Hi, Echo. I'm Mr. Honeybee, one of the most important pollinators in our ecosystem. I visit flowers collecting nectar to make yummy honey. During this process, pollen gets attached to my hairy body and legs. Interesting. What happens to the pollen that sticks to the bee? Good question, Echo. As flowers only have a limited amount of nectar, bees need to jump between many flowers to get enough food. While doing so, pollen is transferred from the bee's body to the top of the flower's female part. If the pollen of a flower arrives at its own female part, it's called self-pollination. If the pollen of one flower is transferred to the female part of another flower, it's called cross-pollination. Chipsters, which flower can perform self-pollination? Perfect or imperfect flowers? Good try, Chipsters, but imperfect flowers have only male or only female parts. They can perform cross-pollination, but not self-pollination. Try again. Good job, Chipsters. Perfect flowers have both male and female parts and can perform self-pollination. Bees are awesome! Are there other pollinators apart from bees? Of course, Echo. Other pollinators include butterflies, birds, moths, bats, even animals such as lemurs or shrews. A pollinator is just an animal, insect, or bird that regularly transports pollen. Fun fact! Animals and insects have evolved and adapted in different ways to be able to sip nectar from tube-like flowers. For example, hummingbirds have slim and long beaks. Butterflies have a proboscis, which is a long straw-like mouth. The tube-lipped nectar bats have tongues longer than their whole bodies. Other than animals, birds, and insects, Pollen can also be dispersed by wind. Whoa! I'm about to jump to another flower for more nectar. Fancy a ride? Let's go! Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial. <laughs>